Jordan, congrats on the win, man. Thank you. A lot of people weren't picking you, but you came in there, you delivered, you had some big shots. What was going in your head before the fight, and what do you say to all the people that were doubting you? You know, anyone that knows me, I don't think was really doubting me. I think because uh, he was a Sambo world champ, they had a lot of hype on him. Um, I wrestled the best in the country. I knew it was going to be really hard to take me down. Uh, I know that if you're not going to take me down, it's going to be kind of hard to play the game plan that he wanted. So what I was thinking before the fight was just don't give up any takedowns, keep it on the feet. Um, if, if I have the opportunity to counter wrestle, use it. Um, kind of a similar step. Uh, Kind of a similar game plan to uh, Rafion Stotts when he fought uh, one of them Mega Medots. Um, so kind of a, a similar template. Uh, use defensive wrestling to out-wrestle them and then use my striking to uh, capitalize. Were you expecting him to keep trying to strike you the whole time? Well, when he felt that he wasn't going to take me down, he didn't really have an option. So um, I also did a good job of keeping the distance so that if he wanted to shoot, he'd be reaching which would leave him open to attacks. So he was smart enough to realize the range wasn't quite there for his takedowns. And the two times that he did shoot on me, I almost had a choke. I almost got a 10-finger guillotine on him one time. And then the other time, obviously, I was hitting him with knees. So, um, you know, when you get a takedown stuffed and you get hit for your hard work, it's, uh, you know, it's probably pretty disheartening. It hasn't really happened to me yet, but I'm not going to imagine. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Hey, Jordan, K. Ways from Camp Chronicles Media. Congratulations on the win, man. And tonight's match, what necessary adjustments do you feel as though that you made that resulted in your win? The adjustments were, I mean, it was in, in fight, you know, little adjustments. Uh, I mean, he, he wasn't, like, super active. I was kind of trying to play a counter-offensive game. So it was like I was kind of waiting for him to attack more so I could counter punch, and he wasn't really doing that so um i don't know i just just win just out strategize but i don't know i forgot the question but so what was the conversation like in between rounds with your corner um it was weird i was so calm i've never been so calm for a fight it's been my biggest fight but this was the calmest i've ever been and it was like uh, i don't know i wasn't even tired in between rounds and they were just kind of telling me what what they wanted to do and to stay poised and stay ready and it was just pretty much basic instruction congratulations on that Thank you. Were you nervous at all when you went to the judges? No, I knew I had the match. I knew I had the fight. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I I think I stumbled on him a couple times with some shots. Um, I mean, yeah. I kind of controlled the pace and the, uh, the tempo. Right, so I knew I had the fight. What was your game like going into the fight, knowing that you I thought we were going to be in a wrestling match, but he didn't want to wrestle because he could have taken me down. So I was like, I'm winning on the feet, so let's just keep it here and see what happens. You know, I didn't really feel a threat of the strikes, and I didn't really feel like he could take it out either. So I was like, why wrestle when we need to stay here? Jordan, right over here. Congratulations, big victory. Obviously, you took out a guy coming out of the Nomad Meta camp. You had to be in the opposing corner. Did that? Did that register to you at all? Did you think about that? and how big a victory over a top coming out of that camp to be? I come out of just as big as the camp. I mean, everyone really, like, really likes to ride the Dagestani, especially the casuals out there. Um, I mean, bro, I wrestle with one of the best American wrestlers there's ever been. My striking coach is one of the best striking coaches there's ever been. Um, I go with the best jujitsu guys, you know, in the country. So, I mean, yeah, they're good. But I think, uh, I mean, we got, we got just as good coaches and people here in America. So it wasn't, yeah, it's Khabib, it's his team. We all know they're going to be good wrestlers, but I've been wrestling my whole life, so the wrestling didn't really scare me too much. Last question for me. You, you kept a pretty wide stance. I'm not sure if that's normal for you, but did you see that having that wide stance might have made it a little bit dip, more difficult for him to use any of his wrestling? It should make it easier to get the single leg, but... Um, it does, I can see what you're saying. It will make it harder to get the double leg. I mean, I was kind of planning on him to shoot, and I wanted to land like a flying knee or something on him, you know, and that kind of gives me the ability to do that with my back leg, you know, in that back position, ready to throw it in. But he just didn't shoot too, too much, so, yeah. Hey, Jordan, there were guys 
That's right. That had a big part of this fight, man. Um, I wanted to show the, uh, you know, the American fans that, you know, I ain't scared of that dude. I'm gonna beat that dude. It was, it's a lot of pride for me to be able to win for America. Like, for sure. Were you surprised at all when you started running around the cage after the fight with the opponent? I'm surprised. I don't think he did that. I told him I got you. I was like, I know I got you. And the, and the look he gave me was like, yeah, it's fine. Sorry, I swore. I didn't mean to. No, he knew he lost. I knew I won. It was evident. On that topic, I know you don't need any added motivation, but hearing those USA chants throughout the fight, does that give you a little bit extra juice during those rounds? Right in the beginning of the fight, I was like, all right, this is crazy. They're yelling the USA right away. That's cool. Um, no, you got to stay so locked in. You can't you can't let anything outside the ring distract you. And that's, I think, was the key to my win tonight, was to stay locked in and focus all the time. I, didn't, I don't think I took a break for not even a second. You mentioned off that style earlier. Has he had a great influence on your career? Uh, me and him are buddies. We used to work together even. Um, yeah, I mean, he's an amazing fighter. Um, his work speaks for himself, itself. And, uh, yeah, I would say he's an influence on my fighter for sure. I asked this question to Bryce Meredith earlier, but what does it mean to you to represent not only the wrestling community, but the mixed martial arts community as well, and show people that you conquered that sport of wrestling, and now you're here conquering this one as well? Yeah, you know, wrestling makes the toughest fighters. Um, you know, a lot of people think that. It just feels good to have a win over, you know, a Dagestani wrestler that everyone thinks they're, like, the best. Like, yeah, everyone thinks they're the best wrestlers. I mean, America has the best wrestlers. I've heard some fighters say that they see other fighters going into fights with these Dagestanis, and they feel like they lost the fight before they even step out of the cage, step into the cage, like, mentally. Because they don't know how to wrestle. Yeah, but you didn't. I know how to wrestle. You didn't fall victim to that at all. No. No. And then, last thing. If it was up to you, when would you enter that cage again next? Um, I'm get what my coaches figured out. Um, I guess I haven't thought about it yet. I'm still like happy about my win. Um, but well, definitely soon. Hey man, congrats. Good. Seven and zero oh now. Seven and zero. Oh. I mean, that guy's a Sambo World Champion, um, and, uh, you know, um, obviously tons of respect. He's a, he's a tough fighter. Um, his record is really good. Um, he has a lot of achievements, so obviously mad respect. But uh, I just knew that it was going to be very hard to take me down. My wrestling defense, I mean, I wrestled with, uh, you know, the AWA crew, the Aspen Wrestling. We got the best, the best kids in the country coming up into college. And obviously Ben Aspen's really good, too. He's had a huge influence on my uh, my career and my wrestling abilities. I mean, he's been coaching me since I was, uh, you know, a young high school kid. Um, so I knew the wrestling was there. Um, the casuals might think they're better, but I think a lot of people who are really in the wrestling community, they know what's up. Speaking about the casuals, what about the casuals out there that think that wrestling is not part of MMA and shouldn't be highlighted like that? You just put out there and showcase that wrestling is still very stiff, right? Well, if you can't wrestle, you're going to lose against a guy who can wrestle, especially a guy from Dagestan like that. We've seen those guys, you know, dominate, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times, different divisions, different weights, using that same strategy. Um, if you don't know how to stop that, like, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. But that's something I do know how to do, so. Jordan, you were able to consistently find a moment in that right hook to see someone in. Is that something you game plan for, or just able to take advantage of it? I got a good right hook. Um, yeah, I land that thing a good amount uh, in sparring. And, yeah, I was looking for it. Uh, Coach Rufus called it the, the uh, bud hook, and uh, I could have done it a little bit better, but it definitely landed like solid a couple times. You know, I think I kind of dropped him at least once with it. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, Jordan, you were able to find a moment in that right hook. Yeah, I play smart. I think uh, playing smart is a smart thing to do. I mean, it's a fight. It's a 15-minute fight. Like, um, 
you know, yeah, I'm going to feel it out. And I knew his wrestling was good. You can't just rush in because you're going to get taken down. So obviously that's not that stupid. So I was kind of trying to get him to rush in on me so I could counter strike and take him down. But uh, I feel like he felt the threat and the power of my hands. And that's what made it hard for him to want to come in. Um, one of the shots, I also almost had a five, uh, ten finger guillotine on him, um, you know, and uh, I think if I didn't have gloves on, I would have finished that. Thank you. Yeah. I had a quick question for you. Yeah. Uh, since everybody's talking about wrestling, uh, do you have a favorite mixed martial art besides wrestling that you want to improve on or train? All of them. All I love of them, them all. Yeah, I, th I really think that taking the jiu-jitsu more serious over the last year, even though I didn't get to showcase it tonight, but I've been doing so much jiu-jitsu over the last year. Um, striking with Coach Rufus, I love it. I love striking. Like, that's, it's more fun than wrestling, honestly. So, I like working every aspect of my game. Awesome. Congratulations again. Can't wait to see you again. Thank you. And you got Mako Lovato in there with Aspen as well. I saw you I've been trying to get as good as I can with Jiu Jitsu over the last year. Um, going with Rafael Lovato, I mean, he's a freaking beast. Uh, just took second at the ADCCs. Um, really good. I go, I come out here and I train at the uh, 10th Planets in uh, you know California and Vegas, and they offer a lot of really good guys to go with. Um, you know, Ben Askren, he's really good. Uh, I got a training partner, Dan Borovic, back in Wisconsin. Uh, he's really, really high level, uh, under the radar. But I mean, I think he tapped Gordon Ryan back in 2019. Uh, he's, he, he's very, very good. So I've been doing quite a bit of jiu jitsu at that point. Thank you. Why do they always ask me that? <laughs> no, I'm not happy until uh, I'm happy. I don't know. I'm happy to win, though. I'm That's not what I'm saying. There we go. There we go. That's fine. Good. That's fine. Good. 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 Good.